All right, so we are going to talk about how Google Bard can actually do marketing for you, and go for it, Neil. So, just a little quick backstory. Eric was talking to one of his team members, and they're going over some optimization and conversion data. And for shits and giggles, excuse my language, Eric decided that he was going to ask Google Bard to optimize one of his pages for conversions and give feedback on how it could be made better. Eric, you want to tell us what Google Bard came up with? Yeah. So just a little more on the backstory here. So I was talking to members on the sales side and they were trying to come up with ideas for building more confidence with prospects. As an example, this is more related to outbound. And so I was like, why don't you just go ask Google Bard? And so literally I shared my screen with them and I ran through Google Bard. I was like, here, let's run through one of our prospects right now. And I just put in what CRO suggestions, so conversion rate optimization suggestions, would you have for singlegrain.com to drive conversion rates up? And here's what it actually came up with. You can see improve the clarity of your call to action buttons. So it's actually scanning my website. So it says, for example, instead of using a button that says get started, you can use a button that says sign up for a free consultation. So it's well, actually... And, and, go ahead. And to pause right here, typically if you go and do a do research on like how do i improve my conversion rate you get a lot of generic advice what bard is doing is they're not just scouring the web and coming up with ideas based on what people have written about and talked about it's also analyzing the web page that eric is giving and then giving contextual thoughts on marketing changes that his team or he can make to improve their conversions they're not the best changes but they're kind of cool, right? For it to know that this is your call to action button, like get started and you should change it to something more custom and related to the offering, such as sign up for your free consultation. That's very relevant. And that is generally true in which if your call to action is related to the benefit, typically it converts better than something generic like get started. And it's a much better version. It's, it's much improved and it's going to continue to get better over time. And the main benefit as of this recording is it's directly connected to the internet. It's connected to the internet in real time. Now, ChatGPT has that feature, but it's an alpha right now. So Google is actually ahead here. And so I can, we, we shared in uh, one of our reaction, our reaction episodes that when I put in a URL for one of our podcast episodes, I can just say, hey, make this, take these show notes and make it into a blog post. And it does it in real time. I wasn't able to do that with a chat GPT. Now, sure, you can use open AIs, you can use their, their API, but that requires you to be a little technical. In this case, I don't need to be technical and I can do it. Now I can automatically, if I'm a writer, I can start to save on cost and I can be a lot more efficient and then we can have more output and the output can remain high quality. Yeah. So if you, if you're stuck, you can use Bard for a lot of stuff, especially in marketing. Um, I started running some URLs through it as well as we're talking here. Uh, it, it's not instant. I don't know how long it took you to get some results back, Eric. Not that long. I, it takes like 30, 40 seconds to a minute or two. That's uh, Maybe it's congested right now. Maybe more and more people are using it because I think as of yesterday, I was literally like a day behind. So. Oh, cool. Yeah. So, uh, but e either way, you know, when you look at this, you're going to get some advice. The advice isn't going to be bad. It's not going to be amazing. It can't replace a hum human yet and it's far from it, but it's better than nothing. It's a good start. You know what's interesting? I think it's going to get to the point. So in our sales, uh, one of our sales channels on Slack, I'm, I'm looking at it right now. And basically what it does, I, I was looking, it will, it syncs with, with open AI right now, uh, the API, and it actually has some recommendations on disavowing harmful links. So your linking domains include a high, include high spam score domains like XYZ, disavow these links. Here's some link building strategies, blah, blah, blah. So basically what we've done here is we've layered in open AI plus the API from Moz and it's providing insights for our sales team. So that will give you some ideas too. So that's not directly related to Bard, but I think Bard will have these capabilities at some point. And the other good thing about Bard too is they're going to, they're releasing a bunch of plugins at the same time. So imagine you being able to layer this in with your favorite marketing tools. You can, for example, layer it in with the Uber suggest or answer to public or whatever tools are out there. And you're going to be much, you're going to get better insights faster and you're going to be able to do better work and then get better results. Anything else, Neil? Nope. That's it. All right. Please don't forget to rate, re subscribe. And also, by the way, next event, levelingup.com. 
slash founders. That's August 7th to the 9th at the Beverly Wilshire. You can learn more about that there. And we will see you later.